right, so I'm going to break with tradition. Usually I open up the biggest one last. We're going to do this one next. And I have, you know, I haven't mentioned this since I was doing the Hot Wheels videos, but this is performance art, guys. I mean, yeah, I'm opening mail and they're toys. But showing the toys, but it's part of an art project. Um, I can't explain how it fits into it, because I don't know yet, because it's art. But in here, we have another unique cake decorations rocket gantry set. Here's one that I'd already had that's still in good enough. I've got it inside of a, a zipper bag, but it's in good enough condition to leave as it is. This guy had one with a package in compromised condition, and we're going to bust into it. And, and both of them, of course, are uh, derivations on this thing here from the Apollo Moon Exploring series by Imperial Toy Corporation, which is actually an LP Toys designed spring-loaded rocket launching gantry. There's a golden astronaut that comes with it. Not golden astronaut, but it is a golden astronaut. Um, and once the space fad had ended, the, they were stuck with all these space toys. And somebody came up with the bright idea, well, you know what? We can tell people these are cake decorations. Or we can sell them to people. It, in the form of cake decorations and because they're just light little things look at this same how about that same handwriting with the 50 cent so somebody somebody must have had a closeout on these at some point and they made the the, the, the revenders or flea market guys made their rounds definitely came from different sellers but that's the same 50 cents. That's the same handwriting. I'm not a forensic specialist, but that's the same thing. And very intrigued by that accoutrement there attached to the astronaut. I've never seen that before. Um, and the card is in better shape than the seller had implied. It, it's still intact. I've seen worse. Certainly. But I bought it to open. <coughs> There's one sealed for posterity. I try to leave as much of the inking intact. I guess what I'm going to do is just carve away the plastic from the bottom. any way to separate it. There. Candle things as they are for now. But finally, I got my hands on one of these things. Uh, it's dumb, of course. It's just a piece of plastic, or a few pieces of plastic stuck together. It doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Here's our, I guess, MPC made. Oh, okay, that's this oxygen hose. I guess those are maybe usually trimmed on the marks, guys. But he's got a uh, Hong Kong on his base. Definitely not marks produced. And I don't see any markings, which isn't surprising. I believe that's what Mr. Commodore Vreed's research had indicated. Gantry platform does sort of slide up and down, although I'm not going to force it with one hand and I think I did a pretty good job getting out of that without defacing the package too much 
can be slid back in it for testing. Testing, packaging needs. Yeah, that's the same thing. My first cream colored uh, MPC Spaceman. Got a couple of the blue ones. And these are the first ones that I've ever had out of the package, brand new. All the other ones that I've got are used. So, there we go. Happy little space nerd with his uh, static rocket gantry from Hong Kong with Hong Kong spacemen. Brought home for less than 20 bucks. And it works for me.